You may want to record video with sound on your Mac, but notice that you just can't get the sound recorded with whatever recording app you're using, uh, like the screen record function in QuickTime for example. Or maybe OBS isn't picking up your desktop sound. In that case, try installing Soundflower. To do that, go to the most official site here and download the DMG file. There are instructions here if you have any problems. And once you've downloaded and installed Soundflower, there isn't any app to run. It's just a virtual sound device that you can choose um, to use once you've installed it. So if you then start audio and MIDI setup, you will see um, your various real and virtual audio devices in the list. The easiest thing to do to get the audio working is to create a new multiple output device. Click on the plus here and add a multi output device and make sure that there is a tick by the built in output as well as the Soundflower 2 channel. It's probably best to make sure that your built in output is the master device and that drift correction is set just for that device. It's also a good idea to change the output frequency to 48 kHz, which is our standard for video editing. Now go to your Mac system preferences. Click on sound and make sure you have the multi output device chosen. Now all your audio is going to both Soundflower and your ordinary output device, in other words, your laptop speakers. You can now use QuickTime to record your screen and desktop audio with Soundflower. Although I have to say that uh, I find QuickTime a little bit unreliable. If OBS struggles to pick up your ordinary output device, you can now also try recording from Soundflower instead. Although I have found that once I've installed Soundflower and chosen the multi output device, I don't need to record from Soundflower and OBS. It just works from that point on. So I hope that helps and good luck.